All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have some mice here. I'm really tired of seeing all these different videos across the internet. This gaming mouse will help you. Oh, that other gaming mouse, it's only 145 fucking dollars, will help you be a better player at the game, okay? I'm changing things up here. I've been doing gaming content for years, since 2011. I did Minecraft, I did Fortnite, I did Borderlands, I did Call of Duty. We're gonna be testing a bunch of gaming mice today. I'm gonna run a, one round at a time with each mouse. Whatever mouse I do the best with, I'm gonna try my best with each mouse. But whatever round I do the best with, that's the best gaming mouse. All the critics can suck my dick. There's nothing else. That's, that's all it is. Whatever mouse I perform the best with, that's the best mouse on the face of the earth. So, sit back and enjoy. Do you guys know the best part about this whole challenge? The best part is all of this is live. So, we're going to rock right into it. We're going to go live on Twitch. We're going to play all these rounds, one round with each mouse, so it's not skewed. You can watch all the VODs if you want over on my Twitch, and you could also be featured in these videos. So, let's see how this goes. All right, the first mouse of the day is the G305. You can't really see it because the lighting's bad and I'm poor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my flashlight on so you can see the back of the mouse. Oh, maybe if I click the flashlight button, it would go better. There you go, G305 by Logitech. This is the wireless and, again, I'm not a millionaire YouTuber, so I have the battery version here. It's a little heavier. Who cares? Honestly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to test this right out. Let's get in the game here. All right, so we're going to be doing this all on Small Mosh Pit. Let's get to the G305 here. First round, this is Small Map Mosh Pit. We're going to be testing this for snipe ability and we're going to be testing this for AR use and movement. I'm not going to run through every gun in the playing field. We're going to be sniping. And we're going to be running with the MCW. Obviously, this is Call of Duty. There's many little games out there that you could be playing with mouse and keyboard. I could be testing this on Borderlands 3. I could be testing this on Fortnite, Valorant, anything. But the gist of it is, is this an accurate mouse and is it comfortable to play on? I have very large hands. So obviously, you smaller hands people may not feel the same way as me. But... We'll see how this works. I have several other mice in the lineup today, so we just need to get through all these. That's why we're playing Mosh Pit. I've been through several different gaming mice and mice in general throughout my years, and I don't even have most of the gaming mice I used to. The Death Adder is an honorable mention today, no matter what, because the Razer Death Adder is a good mouse. I recommend it as a starting gaming mouse for anyone out there, and I don't see a reason to really sit here and upgrade mice all the time. I've also played on several different keyboards. People think that really makes a difference. It doesn't make much of a difference. I've never played differently based on what mouse or keyboard I'm using. It's just stupid. So we're gonna see if this is even a viable option. First of all, the, the main issue here is we have to unplug our controller because right now it was on, it was on a controller only mode. So there's no snipe ability there. I'm gonna use this that way. Turn up the sensitivity a little bit. There's one. I mean, this mouse is feeling smooth, but not like. I mean, it feels all right. There's nothing extra to it. I'm not a professional gamer, so we're just gonna test this out. Oh, it's looking pretty good for this mouse to play like that. well 
All right, so that's the G305. We had a score of 45.95 with the G305. All right, next mouse of the evening. This is an old mouse. It's my OG Minecraft mouse that I used to use on my laptop back in the day. This, also the backdrop here is a mouse holding a mouse, if you give a shit. This is the Logitech M100. It's on the top there. You probably can't read it because of my good lighting. So we're gonna get true lighting here again with the iPhone. And there you go, the Logitech M100. This is not a gaming mouse per se, but it is, a, it is an OG mouse. And I mean, any mouse should be comfortable. We'll see how this one fares for us. We're setting up your optical mouse. All right, so this one doesn't have any changing in DPI. Uh, five volt, 100 milliamp. I don't even see a DPI label on here. So I don't know what DPI it is or anything. We're gonna go ahead and get into a round right away. We've got the Logitech M100 here. Um, I have high hopes for this mouse just because I have such a, like I played with this mouse for years. If I can get kills with this mouse, that's insane. This mouse hasn't been plugged in and used since probably about 2014, 2015. I would say around that era, maybe a little after that actually. It looks like a newer Logitech logo, so it might be 2016. I'm not for, for certain on it, but I had an older version of this as well that I played Minecraft with in the back in the day. And you can tell, I mean, you can see the laser right there of this old game. It's not a gaming mouse, this old mouse. And it is just, you know, this is what you see in your basic, you know, you go to your small town realtor office and they've got all this paperwork and an old particle board desk with a sticker that looks like wood, you know, and they've got that old square Dell monitor. We joined a match in progress, so we're gonna restart. We've gotta give fair stuff here. Small map mosh pit. So we've got, yeah, the Logitech M100. Following this, we do have two beasts of mice. So obviously we started off strong with the G305. What's up smiles again, if you wanna be in the videos you have to be in the live streams on twitch the live streams happen relatively daily i will announce on twitter when i'm going live to record a video so you know you can be in them but we've got the g305 we just reviewed we did all right um the scoreboards are going to be listed at the end of the video and we'll see what mouse was truly the best we got drive through and shoot house we're going to vote shoot house obviously it is my favorite map in Call of Duty for skin grinding. Rust is my favorite for 1v1ing, obviously. So we're gonna see if we can get a good score here. This is domination, so we should be able to top our score with the other mouse. My goal is to top the score every time, if I can. Controller is actually what I play on most of the time. This is the controller I've been playing on. This is the PlayStation, Hey guys, I'm trying to record a video here. Can you quiet down? Anyways, this is the um, PlayStation 5 Edge controller. This is what I play on most of the time. And um, yeah, it's my favorite currently. We're gonna do a video on controllers tomorrow. So, not tomorrow, two days from now. So that would be Thursday. Cause I'm gonna be out of town. You know, some people that aren't full-time uh, YouTubers have to they have to do things. I totally forgot that I have to close my preview so that my computer doesn't blow up. All right. Let's get those points because we need to try and top that other mouse. We, we're using the Minecraft OG mouse right now. We've got a score of 47.25 with the M100 Minecraft Demon Mouse. This, this mouse has a huge history with me. We're going to go right on over to the Logitech MX Master 2S. I don't know. That's a lot of numbers. 
let's see what this is about. And we have mouse. It is it is moving. So this is the Logitech MX Master MX Master. Yeah, 2S. It is very ergonomically built. It's got all this little diamond pattern on the side. It has a wheel on the side. This is for editors. This is for people that just sit there and edit content. So it's looking like this is a three mouse series and it's the battle of the Logitech. Things change. Um, no, not today. Um, and we're gonna see if this mouse trumps the Logitech G305 and the Logitech M100. I don't know which one out of the three is gonna be the reigning supreme. Obviously the M100 I think had score on the G305. The G305 kinda got a uh, kind of got destroyed ink house and cell ship we'll do cell ship let's see if they also vote cell ship um this one has a button on top for unlocking the scroll wheel but i can also just spin the scroll wheel free spin or i can click spin but if i click it it's always on free spin and then i click it again and it's not it's kind of cool this is a very uh well-built mouse so i'm gonna see if it's all right it should be a decent enough mouse for being a competitor in this little series. All right. Supreme Grim 80. That's a scary username. All right, let's get it. The Logitech MX Master 2S. Same loadout as before. Um. How do I change the... You can't really change the sensitivity on here, so... S. So we're going to definitely check out... Uh, which mouse won today and which mouse is the best gaming mouse every other mouse on the market is just complete and utter BS and not worth your money now that's not to say that if you don't spend two hundred and eighty dollars on a gaming mouse that it's not gonna be a good mouse you're just wasting your money because I played a match with the M100 which is arguably worth about five dollars and um, performed just about the same and I put the same amount of performance into every single map that I played today. I don't see a reason in spending like $200 on a gaming mouse. It's just not a real need. What is the purpose? So there you have it. Those are the best gaming mice on the market. Let's go to the score charts and see which mouse won.